So, an absolute storm has been brewing over on Twitter today because of multiple news leakers, I'm using those with quotation marks, have actually been saying all day on Twitter that Amazon was actually on the verge of purchasing EA for roughly about 30 to 40 more billion dollars. However, even though a lot of people fell for it and a lot of people believed it, it is only very recently, within less than an hour of me recording this, that this has came out to be false, that this isn't actually the case. Now, this is one thing I've been saying even back during when, back when it was called Battlefield 6, not Battlefield 2042, because nothing was revealed about it, is a thing about leakers and news sources, etc, etc, especially on Twitter and Reddit and everywhere else, they are very, very 50-50 with the reportings. Their sources are not always coming from credible places, it's only people who are very high up in the pyramid, therefore someone in EA or Amazon, if people have contacts like that that are reporting on this or other credible news sources onto a third party with another third party as well. So, yes, I wasn't really too surprised when I heard that this wasn't the case because usually you hear about something like this for a little bit. For example, with the Microsoft buying Activision, we did hear little bits about it before the final day went bang and we just heard it out of nowhere. But, yes, this has all came out to be fake. However, even though that a lot of people still don't believe this is happening because it, they have announced that it isn't, I believe they're still up to something. I think EA and Amazon are still trying to get something done. And honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if some point later on this year or early next year, at roughly the same month as we saw Activision get purchased by Microsoft, that we basically hear that yes, there is actually some sort of transaction trying to go on to purchase the full 100% of EA. Now, this seems a bit weird that a company that has really nothing to do with video games, unless you want your uh, unless you want your 3080 to brick, you know, Amazon's very good at doing that to your graphics card. Unless you want that to happen, you know, Amazon doesn't really have any connection to games, although we're seeing a lot of companies purchase kind of video game studios or video game publishers as a whole recently, and obviously the biggest one, as I've mentioned, was Microsoft buying Activision, and I think a lot of them are planning to do the same, because I think if we're being quite honest with you, all these major AAA studios or developers or, you know, the big Wilson fists at the top pretty much, I think they've just got absolutely beyond burnt out, probably sick of having like this, like the 69,420th death threat sent to me on a daily basis over Battlefield or Vanguard or whatever it may be, so I think a lot of them are looking just to sell up for A, B and C and X, Y, or Z of reasons, but probably the fact that they're just fed up at getting all of the hate and they know their games are shit at this point. So yes, I do believe that even though today it has not been confirmed, in fact it has been proven that no, no transactions going on today, I do believe that we will, in the future, see EA be acquired by Amazon. Not today, not tomorrow, but at some point in the future, and I think roughly within six-ish months or so, give or take a couple as well. So, apparently, according to a few other people on Twitter, we've got someone goes by the name of Jason Shree here. I've probably butchered the hell out of your name, I do apologise. He is quoted saying, might be moot at this point, but I've spoke to five EA devs this morning and none of them have heard anything about an acquisition aside from the GLHF rumour. Um, this doesn't mean it's not happening, but if it is, EA has not yet informed their employees or its employees. So, again, this kind of backs up my little theory that, well, backs up very, kind of, just a little bit, nothing concrete really, but it does kind of like, help me on my point that it's I don't believe Amazon's going to purchase EA anytime soon but I think they really are trying to just muddle the way into some sort of deal and um, Tom Henderson did mention today as well who is probably the arguably the most credible leaker on the whole of the internet at the moment I would say especially on Twitter and um, he has said that if EA was to be acquired 100% and they're just buying shares into it actually to be fully acquired that we are looking at about 30 to 40 pardon we are looking at about 30 to 40 billion dollars for the whole entire purchase of EA and everything it owns and has its basically has its little grubby fingers in. So that would include, you know, every single studio as well. Obviously the most notable one would be DICE as well. So also for any of you that saw Tom Henderson's tweets about a FIFA Amazon Prime show coming in 2025 along with a Battlefield show as well. Yeah, he was taking the piss, that wasn't real. Um, that's the only part of it that was just completely made up, just him trying to get a wind up out of people. But yes, um, that's pretty much it, so, so much for what we know. It Don't expect this to happen, it really won't happen anytime soon. I do generally believe that Amazon will try and acquire 
EA, it seems like a lot of companies that don't really belong within the gaming industry are trying to buy up the whole gaming industry at the moment as well. I'm waiting for like Apple or even Amazon as well just to buy Tencent and that would be insane but I think Tencent might technically be in more power from a financial aspect at the moment compared to a lot of these companies. They seem to have infinity money, literally like GTA 5. But yeah, I'll wrap it up there. No Amazon purchase, uh, no Amazon purchase in EA tonight or tomorrow or whenever. And I think we're looking at about roughly October to like February periods. I think of 2022, 2023, and we should hear something about it because I do believe Amazon is trying. And I think this rumor of it getting purchased today, someone probably did actually get their hands on some genuine information. But maybe today they're not trying to purchase it. Maybe today is their first ever move forward from probably a legal and a financial aspect of saying hey we want to purchase it can we start getting the ball rolling yeah okay but interested and i think that's probably happened today not any handshaking on 30 or 40 more billion dollars pretty much but yeah if you liked this video please drop a like subscribe hit the bell notification so you don't miss any future content as well and leave a comment down below if you think ea would become worse or better or stay the same me personally i think it would somehow become worse even though i think that's actually a physical impossibility at this point but yes also i do have a second channel called high roller shots where i upload some of the most craziest gaming shots you can get on certain games as well at the moment i'm uploading state two and three and when state four comes out or just state full stop as it's called i will be uploading a ton of content on when that game comes out um, as i say i live stream over on twitch daily at 8 p.m in british summer time as well and um, i'm on twitter quite often as well i've got a tiktok and i'll be uploading to that again very soon as well all links are in the description but yeah i love you all and as always keep on rolling see yous